Coming up, baseball, softball, and an inside look into what our national championship football team has prepared for this upcoming season. And we'll see what spring intramural sports has to offer. And the rugby team had their first playoff game this weekend. And we'll see what the golf team has been up to. Your Blazer Sports Report starts now. Hello and welcome to the Blazer Sports Report. I'm Shalonda Martin. And I'm Reed Burkett. Blazer baseball led into spring break with a victory over Flagler College to start off a homestand. Our own Caitlin Barker has more. Blazer baseball finished their homestay with Flagler with a 6-3 victory over the Saints. The game was tight up until the fourth inning when Valdosta State took a 4-0 lead and never gave the momentum back to the Saints. Flagler's only scoring run came late in the eighth with a sacrifice fly and a triple for their only three runs of the game. The Blazers' pitching staff played a crucial role in controlling the flow of the Saints' offense, only allowing seven hits with the win going to senior Benjamin Vail. The Blazers look to use the momentum coming off of this win in the few conference matchups coming up over the spring break week. The Blazers are currently eighth in the Gulf South Conference play. The Blazers will play their in-state rival West Georgia this weekend, playing a doubleheader on Saturday and a single game on Sunday. The Blazers will then take on the Thomas University Nighthawks on April 3rd and will then hit the road for eight straight games. And they will not return to Billy Grant Field until April 20th, where they will face the Union Bulldogs. With your Blazers Sports Report, I'm Caitlin Barker. The Blazers return to action this Friday with a doubleheader against West Georgia, right here at Billy Grant Field. And on Saturday, the final game of the home stand. The Lady Blazers came off a six-day break after two split doubleheaders in Alabama earlier this month. They had five doubleheaders over spring break, but only played two. I caught up with the team to get more on the story. After almost a week of downtime, the Lady Blazers dominated West Georgia 10-1 and 16-1, followed by a split against Shorty University. The Lady Blazers were scheduled to play Golden Bears last Thursday, but due to bad weather in Memphis, Tennessee, the Golden Bears were forced to cancel both games. They traveled to play Delta State on Saturday, but was sent home early by heavy rain in the first inning. The Lady Blazers were forced to cancel another doubleheader against Christian Brothers on Sunday. We just stay the same, you know, we just, uh, again, we just try to keep working on the fundamentals and just, you know, try to do everything and stay the same. The series of bad weather hasn't put a damper on VSU's GSC record of 10-4 and, and overall record of 23-6. and six. As the regular season comes to an end, the Lady Blazers are preparing overtime for the postseason tournaments. With your Blazers Sports Report, I'm Shalonda Martin. The Lady Blazers will make up for some of those canceled games starting this week. Good luck, ladies. The Blazers golf team placed 16th in the Bobcat Invitational over the break. The tournament featured seven Division II teams ranked in the top ten. The three-round tournament took place between Monday, March 18th, and Tuesday, March 19th. The Blazers shot a total of 906 in the tournament, while John Fordham and Clark Hendrick both shot 225 for the Blazers. However, they were unable to take home the title. The Blazers golf team will be ready to jump back into action Monday, April 1st, in the Buccaneer Invitational in Miami Gardens, Florida. With springtime temperatures quickly approaching, now is the time to get out and get active. The Campus Rec offers a variety of sports to meet every student's need. Andrew Hagman has more on the story. Students looking to get active, the BSU Campus Rec has a solution. Campus Rec offers a variety of intramural sports from dodgeball, softball, flag football, and basketball. Our team name is Go to Work. Uh, our season is going pretty good right now. Right now, currently, we're at, in the playoffs in the Final Four. If we win this game, we go to the championship, play against a really tough team called Power to P, who's undefeated this year. Um, we got a lot of good girls on this team, a lot of talented girls, so I'm really enjoying coaching them. So whether you're looking to just have some fun, or if you love to compete, there's definitely an intramural sport for you. Each sport has a wide range of divisions, including men's, women's, and co-reg. Skill level is even taken into consideration, as the men's category is split into both A and B leagues. So if you're trying to pick up a new sport, or if you're a seasoned veteran, there is definitely something for you. There's still time as registration is ongoing for extreme dodgeball and billiards. Well, it sure looks like the campus rec has every sport VSU students will need to stay active and have fun. 
The Blazer football team prepares for the 13, 2013 season, their annual black versus white game. Ariel Brooks has more. The Blazer football team took to the field against each other on Saturday, March 15th for the annual black versus white game. Fans came out to watch the 2012 Division II champions go head to head in a friendly exhibition to end their spring practice, which began on February 15th. As defending champions, the team is looking to improve their already impressive record under head coach David Dean. The 2012 title is the third title the Blazers have won in the history of the football program and the second title to be earned under coach Dean, who joined the Valdosta State family in 2007. Between the returning talent and the 25 new signees, Valdosta State may be a true force to be reckoned with in the upcoming 2013 season. For more information on the football team and all other Blazers sports, visit the athletics page on the Valdosta State site. With your Blazers sports report, I'm Ariel Brooks. We look forward to seeing the football team kick off again in the fall. I have high hopes for them in this upcoming season. The rugby team had their first ever playoff game and are on to the second round. And I caught up with the team to get, just get a little bit more on the story. Coach! Touch! Sit! Mount Austin State men's rugby played their first ever playoff game in the rain and mud this past Saturday at the North Campus Fields. The 15-minute rain delay did not stop the Blazers' defense from holding Athens RFC to just 22 points in the match with a final score of 59 to 22. BSU men's rugby holds an undefeated record of 6-0 in Matrix, and they look to maintain that winning streak as they advance to the second round of the playoffs. The Blazers will have to win the rain or shine again at the North Campus Fields as the men take on High Country Rugby Club this Saturday, March 30th. For the Blazers Sport Report, I'm Reed Burkett. Congratulations to the rugby team and good luck to them as they continue their playoff run. Well, that's going to do it for us here at the Blazers Sports Report. As always, we thank you for joining us. I'm Shalonda Martin. And I'm Reed Burkett. Go Blazers! Go Blazers. <laughs>